When you think about the most difficult moon in Lethal Company, which map comes to mind? For most, I'd imagine the answer to be Titan since it's the endgame moon that can spawn the most enemies. But for people like myself, who do mostly Iron Man and Nuzlocke challenges, there's a much different answer, and that's Val. Val has been the biggest run killer for my challenge attempts by far, and it's even worse when the moon is eclipsed. Val is not only notorious for having the highest Bracken encounter rate in the game, but also the highest Forest Keeper spawn rate by far. Val boasts a ridiculous 65.36% giant spawn rate, and spending enough time here will make you wish that you encountered a dog instead. But that said, I don't really like framing Val in this light because, to be honest, it just kinda comes off as a skill issue, and I'll be the first to admit that it is. If I am to find any success in my challenge runs moving forward, then I'm going to have to be proficient at running Val even when it's eclipsed. So I downloaded Stormy Tuna's Eclipse Only mod, booted up the game, bought two stun grenades at the company building since that seems to be the best way to survive this god awful planet, and I began the exposure therapy process that you'll see in this video. For this run, I had two goals in mind. One is to get over the fear and disdain that I associate with Val, especially when it's eclipsed, and two, to come up with a few game plans that will actually help me survive here in the long run. I honestly wasn't expecting much from this run, but after a few warm up rounds I started doing a lot better than I expected, and even though I didn't really make it that far, I'm still excited to show you all how much I I grew in such a short period of time. I went from being scared to collect a single beehive next to the ship, to being competent enough to make multiple trips under Val's worst conditions, and I hope that by watching this video you learn as much from this run as I did. I plan on doing more moon exclusive runs like this in the future, so subscribe and let me know which ones you want to see next. But that's all I have for the intro, let's get into this Eclipse to Val only run. Alright, let's do this. Val only, sorry, Eclipse the Val only, of the Stormy Tuna Eclipse mod, so that way I can just guarantee Eclipse every time. You notice I have zero dollars in the store, that's because before starting the recording I went to the company building and bought two stun grenades. Uh, I think this is going to be the strat to go. Before doing, starting this run, I did just a little bit of research, and by research I mean I went and watched a little bit of Thelonious's Val only video. And in that run, she only got Eclipse to Val twice. So I watched both of those days to see how she handled an Eclipse to Val. And some things of note, she brought two stun grenades and a flashlight with her. A uh, stun grenade to deal with the giants, of course. So instead of buying a flashlight, I'm just going to buy two stun grenades off rip and hope that this can help me with the first quota. Because after first quota, I should have enough money to just buy a backlog of stun grenades and flashlights. I can kind of do without a flashlight for a little bit. But yeah, that's basically it. Let's go. Just woke up, so hopefully the morning lethal company is the way to go. Yeah, there's already immediate thumping. There's also a beehive. I think I could, I think I go for the, I definitely go for the beehive actually. Yeah, 145, that's like the whole first quota. Oh no, wait. Okay, I almost threw that. <laughs> that's kind of funny. Okay, now we go. I saw another beehive too. But I kinda took damage now, so. I'm not entirely sure where that giant is. We go back around this way then. Kind of hard to see. Oh, actually, let's just get this. Let's just get the second beehive and call it. I am. I do have ten pounds on me, so. God damn it. I 
I think just one stun grenade should be good enough. Or how close this is. two giants now. Damn it, come on. I don't think I get the second one, it's too far. Sorry. <laughs> I should have maneuvered it all the way. It seems that like these beehives don't collect up here anymore. It's just kind of all the way back here. I haven't uploaded the runs yet. But I've done a few runs since the, pa since the past update, and it seems like you have, like the collection area is more towards the front of the ship than the back, because you're able to collect beehives kind of outside the ship. And you know, what? I'm gonna take a moment to go look at that real quick. Wanna set it up in about this location, because you're gonna need some stamina yeah. to jump. So okay. wait for your stamina to refill. Let it fill over the max capacity. That's gonna be useful. A little bit extra there. Now you're gonna want to attract the bees like this, grab it, and do this jump. You will oh. need the momentum for this. It's possible okay. to mess up, and then you drop it. Got it. I have collected stuff without doing that jump. I think just getting close enough to the wall is good enough also. But yeah, let's grab our stun grenades and then we'll head in. I wish I did that a little bit better because that was like probably the best start I could have gotten. Like t potentially 290 off rip. That's already two quotas, basically. Okay. Val not holding back, giving me the giants already. You know, that's why we're here. We're gonna get good at doing this. I'm not here particularly because. Uh, because Val is like the most profitable or anything. But in the challenge runs, Val tends to be the run killer, especially when it's Eclipse. So, yeah, this is my way of practicing the run killer, the run killer moon. And hopefully by the end of this, by the end of this run, I'll be proficient enough at Eclipse to Val that I'll not only survive this moon on my challenge runs, but also my, my regular Val will just be that much better as a result too. Actually, I don't need these inside. I remember watching Thelonious drop those outside during the runs. But yeah, whoever decided, I mean, <laughs> there's only there's only one person that worked on this, so I don't know why Zeker has decided to give Val the most evil spawn rates in the game, but that's why we're here. This didn't have a door, I thought it did. I was gonna close the door so that way I can hear if a Bracken is following me. Um, doesn't look like we'll get that option. Okay, we're getting... It's gonna be, it's gonna be a little dark for the first few runs. Okay, well there's a spider. I don't wanna run into a spider in the dark. I don't really have much of a choice though, now do I? I could just secure quota one. Yeah, we're gonna go to the fire exit, unfortunately. Maybe it's if, if I find something early enough, we'll be okay. See. Looking for just literally anything. Locked. This is a loot room, so technically there should be loot here. Okay, I'll take that. Better than nothing. And I think we go now. Because the hard part is right here. That tree looks so much like a giant. And that is for sure a giant, so.
I do have two stun grenades though to help me with this trick. Um, one of them I'll probably throw at the giant actively to prevent it from coming at me. And the other one I'll save in case I get grabbed. Nah, son. Okay. That's actually a pretty safe route back to the ship. Maybe I'll check for beehives. Since uh, the outside is kind of... Oh, there's sandworm too. Never mind. I think we're okay. Let's just kind of... Let's kind of just get Kota 1 out of the way. Let's get the run going. We could have we could have been at a really good spot if I was able to get that second beehive. I'm just gonna try not to dwell over it too much. Kind of uh, one of the ways you can enjoy lethal company and just video games and life experiences in general. Don't dwell too much on your mistakes. Move on and learn from them. Don't even have to think too hard. I do like holding these though, off rip, because there's not gonna be a lot of situations where I'm not just gonna grab these and have two on me. And it might save me the time I need to get to sneak past the giants also. Looking for beehives upon landing. I mean, I, if they're this close, I'd be able to see them. There was a red dot. So there's a dog. I didn't hear thumping. We'll keep that in mind. What this silent run is for. A little lucky with the giant spawns, I guess. You want to call it lucky? I am mostly going to avoid the fire exit like the plague. I may or may not buy an extension ladder just to help me go there later. But then I'm bringing a full inventory of items. But so that's going to be at a point when I can afford that kind of stuff. If I bought an extension ladder off rip, it would have been the only item I brought. And that's not entirely ideal. Nice. This is a good room. And we get two lockers, too. Don't, unfortunately, we don't get anything just yet. Okay. Good room. Bad roll. I did see this in Thelonious' video also. Apparently, an item spawned up here. Okay. Didn't get any items this time. Actually, I need to be up there. That's how I get back. Okay. A little unlucky with the loot room. That's okay. Don't get something every time. Okay. Optional jump. Always look around to see if your jumps are optional before you commit to them. And, uh... Going very far on this deadline is also optional. Because... You know, yeah, let's just go secure our first deadline. I will kind of take a look for bees, though. Well, not a very hard look. If it's if there's just no bees on the way back, then it's over. Okay, well, I can't go up there, I guess. I like this hilly area, because you can have a lot of hiding space from the giants. Okay, let's see where he's at. Oh, I'm spotted. I think. Okay, he must be over that way. That sound means that I'm being stared at by a giant from somewhere. Should be able to run from here, so I'm gonna do it. Yeah, he's behind the ship. Okay. We'll secure this. It's okay. Peace, dude. Yeah, visual and sound cues for when you're being chased by a giant. Very good to know. I don't know if those were always in the game, but I've definitely become more aware of them in recent times. They'll help you survive a lot more giant encounters even before you have to use a stun grenade. Alright, I'm gonna apologize for his quota being kind of boring, but... We survive. 
kind of like the same policy that I had in my Titan only run. Go uh, play, 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 play for. <laughs> I got a little worried because I saw a weather eclipse on the company building. I'm pretty sure that doesn't mean anything here. I was like, there's no way I sent to the wrong, the wrong planet. But yeah, we play for life on on these kinds of runs. I don't want the run to go for a, a while longer. I have like a respectable length run. We have both of our stun grenades still. I'll only ever need like s six stun grenades and three flashlights would be like the ideal number. Let's buy at least two two pro flashlights first, and then we'll go from there. I don't think I'll be able to buy my full loadout just yet. If I sold the red soda, I could, but I'm gonna save that for next soda. Let's go with pro flashlight. Okay, come on. Remember how to buy stuff. Two, and then we'll buy three stun grenades. The reason why I say the ideal loadout is six stun grenades and three pro flashlights, because every day I want to have two flashlights and a pro flashlight. Sorry, two stun grenades and a pro flashlight. And there are three days per deadline. So six stun grenades and three flashlights will get me there. I only ever need enough for the three days that I'm on the planet. And then I could always just buy more the next time I land. So this is what the ideal loadout's gonna look like. Two stun grenades and a flashlight. And then we'll, we'll just leave store items on the planet as we need to. That way if I have enough for each planet, I don't have to retrieve a flashlight every time. So that way I have one for the next round. I can instead bring scrap back, which is usually the play. Let's see what we get for our second quota. 247, I think that's like on the higher end. So, I don't get to start off with a beehive this time, so let's see how I actually play this. I wonder if I can still see beehives when I'm outside. Might be- oh, wait. You know, we take those. And there's a sandworm, so I'm gonna have to be a little careful. Let's, uh... Oops. Goes away. Might wait for it, the sandworm to start going away first. Okay, now we go. We're gonna go with the original location because that's what I was lined up for. Okay, wait, I wanted to see how much it was worth, but... I guess it'll be a surprise for after the run, huh? Okay, I hear a giant now. It's like right here at the ship, too. Not really cool. We have to play. As long as there's no other giant here, we'll be okay. And as long as the sandworm doesn't follow me all the way. We're here for exposure therapy. We can't just not go somewhere because there's a giant. And I, I know this is jinxing it just by saying it, but I've also gotten a lot better at surviving sandworms. Like, I haven't died to one in a long, long time. So, yeah, basically setting myself up by saying that out loud. I don't have the ideal item lineup here because now I'm going to have to drop both stun grenades and the flashlight just to set my inventory back up properly. It's okay. Two two-handed items, which isn't completely ideal. But wow, this layout is very good. Okay. Um, cash register, very good. Sandworm, not good. That's how I'm feeling right now. I'm definitely not getting all of this stuff back. I might have to make some decisions here. Oh, this is just the downstairs of this. Okay. Don't 
don't know why I'm even looking any farther. Like, this should have been the extent of my search. Okay, so we're leaving the flashlight for sure. Having both of these. We'll come back for the key if we can. And then... Yeah, let's just go for the best inventory first. If I can make it back with this, this is going to be huge for the run. I'm more worried about the sandworm than the giant. But let's go. It wouldn't be... It wouldn't be a challenge run if I didn't find a cash register or a gold bar, huh? I mean, this isn't necessarily a challenge run. It's a challenge in the nature of the run, but there's no real end goal other than seeing what, how far I can go and how well I can do. Like, at least with the Iron Man and the Nuzlocke challenges, there is an end goal. There is a way to beat it. Okay. I'm not entirely sure where that's coming from. It's right there. Oh, okay. It's straight ahead. I see. But I've gone around, so... Let's see if it chooses to investigate over here. We have some trees to hide behind. I see. Not liking the prospect of this as much. Okay. Well, looks like it's giving me somewhat of a chance. There's bees over here too. That can be good or bad. I don't like that it's so close to that tree. That's kind of one of my main sources of cover. Okay, fuck it. We're ending. Nice. Okay, we're gonna go for that other bee- we're gonna go for that beehive. Like, it's so close. That would be kinda dumb not to. Oh god! No, please! Okay, never mind. <laughs> we're good. I will- <laughs> I almost learned the hard way. Let's just be happy with what we got. Oh my, that scared the shit out of me. Okay. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, not bad. We have enough to meet quota now, after one day. Just barely, just barely. By three, or no, actually by a little bit more. I don't have ship loot on, so, you know, it'd be a little inaccurate. Um. I guess we won't take a flashlight. Doesn't seem that important right now. I'd rather have it on the last day, I guess. I don't know. I don't know anymore. If I'm just gonna leave it, then I might as well play it a little safe on this day. Having two flashlights is a little strange. I'd rather just be able to leave a flashlight every time. Not bringing it this round is going to be my reminder to play things a little safe. I feel like hive running at the beginning of an Eclipse Val might be kind of viable because it's just like it's going to be the time when there's less giants out. I mean, let me just collect this. I've ran past it a couple times already. Might as well. I could have saved that for a little serotonin boost later on in the run when I actually need one. But whatever.
be any any freebies? Why is there a light here? Oh, hello. No freebies, but brackens. Okay. Maybe we just be content with this, and then we get a full loadout starting next time. How about that? Without getting our neck snapped. We can run back this way and like. No, we can't. Where is the giant? Is it down in the valley? Is that why it can't see me right now? See, the sound cues are going to be super important on this run. Because the giants are going to be able to see me long before I see them. And unfortunately, yeah, it's down there in the, in the valley, it seems. If it's down there, though, it's not going to reach me. So I'm a little free to run just a little bit here. I think it's a good idea just to take this longer path, even if there is no giant to worry about. Or maybe I give them less time to spawn in and just run straight. Cause I'll be I'll be notified if I'm being watched. Now, there can only be three giant spawns per map. There's one of them. Okay, there's a baboon hawk also. Hello. Baboon hawks worry me more <laughs> sometimes, dude. Like, am I supposed to predict them? And we get a sandworm also. Okay, let's just go to day three. This this strategy isn't gonna pan out in the long run. But man, like savage as hell. Before I continue, I'm gonna go look at the power levels on Val. The outdoor power levels. This is something I should have done as part of my initial research. Is, um, yeah, being able to count how many enemies there are outside is going to help me, like, vastly. Okay, so, max nighttime power is six, actually. That's really good to know, because then, that means that there can only ever be two giants. Okay, so it's, this isn't going to be as bad as I thought. Like, right then and there, that was the Forest Keeper, the Earth Leviathan, and Baboon Hawk. That was all three of the enemies that I had to worry about. So I might have been able to make a different decision based on that information. Or if I ever see two giants, as long as I know where they are, then the rest of the map is going to be pretty safe. It looks like dogs are a pretty rare spawn. 2.6%, so I might not have to worry about them too much. But okay, good to know. I didn't know that Val's power level is only 6. I thought it was going to be a lot higher than that. Enough to spawn at least all three giants, but there is some mercy on this map. It is only the third map in the game, but I don't think it's supposed to be crazy difficult. Okay, no free bees. But maybe there are bees. Let's go take a look early while we can. This also just gets me to the main entrance eventually, too. But, I mean, there's no way I'm going out on this side of the map later in the day, you know. I might as well go early. Especially now that I know only two giants can spawn, like, that's not crazy terrible. Yeah, this... Okay, well. The giant spawning right there. And there's a baboon hawk also. Oh, we made it in time. Actually, let's drop this outside. I don't want a hoarding bug to take that away from me and end my run. Okay, looks like we're gonna get some stuff in this room, actually. At least the wisp. Oh. And two ducks. I mean, this is a full inventory. Is there anything up here? Nope. I'm gonna be so hyped when I actually find something up there. 
At least it's a... Oh, wait, that's kind of a lot. Okay, well, we'll consider getting more than one inventory this time. We're gonna have to get used to that. I mean, I'll take it. Whether or not I take it back with me is gonna be a whole... Di oh, hello. Okay. Where did you spawn from to be, like, right there? What? The fuck? Okay. Remote's pretty good. Flexes I have to... Oh, God! Okay. All of a sudden, I don't want to stay. Okay, we'll go this way, because one of the giants is over that way. There's a baboon hawk. Actually, that means that there's only going to be one giant. Because there's not enough power level for a second giant now. There is enough power level for two more baboon hawks, or a dog, or a sandworm. Mm, I'll take the dog over all of those. Okay, so it's a baboon hawk. So I'm going to have no worms. It's going to be one giant and three baboon hawks. That's the most that's going to happen. And it looks like this side's actually going to be pretty safe now. So as long as I don't die to the baboon hawks, we'll be okay. Mm. I'll still bring the second grenade. In case I need to stun a baboon hawk for whatever reason. I might look into how to deal with baboon hawks, because... Um, I'm pretty sure that if you just leave them alone in their territory, then they won't bother you at all. But, uh, yeah, I, I guess the yelling thing is a myth. Like, you can't just yell at them and make them go away. But the one thing I do know is that if you stay too close to them, they will get active. I'm gonna crawl or walk across this. I'm not sure where he's wandering, but he should be wandering. Oh yeah, I see him. In the middle of the valley right there. Crouching does help with visibility. So. Or maybe no, that's just a tree. I keep getting keep getting them mixed up with trees, unfortunately. This is some is this the map where yeah, this is the map where I, I looked for beehives initially. That's because I watched the giant spawn in. Maybe I'll... Do I have enough money to buy an extension ladder? No, I don't. Not yet. I'll buy the ex... Okay. So the ideal loadout then is six stun grenades, three flashlights, and three extension ladders. That's like the absolute most that I should be able to buy. That loadout gets a little expensive, but the fact that I... Okay. You walked all the way over here somehow. I would kind of wish that you stayed over where I had you pinned originally. Because now I have to change everything. Oh god, I have no idea where. Okay. Please stun him. Okay. And that's why we have that. <laughs> okay, well we got everything, so... Let's just go. Later. Okay, not so bad. The only thing is, I'm not making a lot of money. So now the issue is staying in the facility longer. I mean, the, the main reason why I came to Val was to practice the outdoor. I think we're getting the hang of it a little bit. So now it's just a matter of playing the game indoors. Um, I only need to sell 247. These four items get me the 248. Yep, okay. And then I still have... A decent amount left. A little over 300 it seems. 
Yeah, 330. Very cool. I'll buy two more flashlights. I used one stun grenade, so I should have four now. We'll buy two more stun grenades. Two more flashlight. And then... Buy two ladders. Why not? No reason to save the money. I might try to buy a jetpack eventually, actually. So maybe I keep the minimum and slowly, slowly build my way up to a jetpack. You know, or... Maybe not so slowly if the jetpack decides to be on sale again. That'd be sick. I won't bring the extension ladder the first time. I can afford to not go down there early. Or maybe it's when I go, maybe it's early when I want to go because then I can risk dying more early than later. I also just shouldn't think about dying at all. Oh god. Okay, well, we absolutely collect that. If not, just because it's blocking my jump here. Politely fuck off. Yeah, let's not get active right now. Yeah, let's not. And there's a giant. God, these things like... <laughs> Man, this just has all my least favorite elements of a game in one. Like, dude, I don't even want to go. Okay, let's go. It's giving me a chance. By walking away. Um, it's also the only giant on the map now because of the baboon hawk. So now I'm just looking out for more sandworms. I'm actually wanting to see another baboon hawk, I guess. Or a dog. Give me the 2.6% dog. Or another beehive? Beehives are worth 136 on this map. Uh, the value of the beehive is consistent on, on each moon landing. So if you find one beehive, you'll know how much the other beehives will be worth and if it's worth looking for them. Like 136 is pretty good. I would probably spend some time looking for more beehives if it wasn't eclipsed. Also, I need to leave the sun grenades outside. Try not to get brackened here. The bracken in solo isn't all that bad because you can just stare at them indefinitely and they won't aggro. Make sure I don't get snare fleet here. The only thing is if you're not... Okay, yeah. Speaking of snare fleas, right? This is the other side of that power door. Oh god! Jesus Christ. Yeah, you can stare at... You can just kind of push Brackens back indefinitely in solo. As long as you don't completely corner them. Oh. That's kind of an interesting option that I'm not going to take. Yeah, he's in the vent. I'm going to do that. I want to leave now. I don't remember how to get back. Lord. Hello. Well, at least we'll get a jar of pickles. A flask. Oh, 
Okay, this is definitely not the way back, unfortunately. But, you know, the way through could lead us to, uh, oh, what the? Okay, well, let's go get the yield sign then. Okay, let's wait for Mr. Bracken. Yeah, there you are. He only attacks every like 15 or 20 seconds or so. So if you can kind of like position yourself in a way to where you can wait for him to appear again. Close the door behind me. Looking for vents to see if there's any way he can appear behind me without opening that door. Doesn't seem like there is. Yeah, he has to appear in front of me. Okay, we're good. I think this is the least valuable one, so... We'll come back for that in a little bit. Rare occasion where I might come back for the flashlight, just because I have to come back for the flask anyway. Only one giant out as well. But it seems like he's going to be hanging around the ship, which isn't very fun. But I have hella stun grenades to work with. And as long as the... As long as the baboon hawk doesn't decide to kill me, we'll be okay. But if the baboon st hawk starts attacking me, I'll try to- I'll stun it also. The giant was hanging around the front of the ship, so I think I'm gonna swing around the back side here. As long as there's no sandworm, we'll be okay. I'm actually gonna have the yield sign out. Because this is going to be the thing that gets me killed by the sandworm. Oh, the giant's right there. I just saw it. We're going to go this way. It makes things easier if it's over there, I guess. That makes this whole side of the map pretty safe. But you know what? I guess I didn't realize that giants would path all the way across the map. I thought they would just kind of stay in their little pocket. I also just realized that I put the bees on this side, so I'm going to want to go in from the other side of the ship at some point. I'm going to save some stamina. I'm going to go around the long way. Oh shit, okay. Wait, there are two giants? I, did I look at the wrong map info, or did I just not see a giant over there? I must have mistook the giant for something else. Yeah, that must have just not been a giant that I saw earlier. Two baboon hawks. Let's go this way. So that means no sandworm. So there's gonna and the, there's gonna be no dog. So it's gonna be three baboon hawks and a giant. I did see the giant over there for sure. I must have been tripping whatever I was looking at over there. Okay. I'd actually be kind of safe to check out the fire exit now, but for this specific map, I already know where the fire exit leads to. So there's not much to gain from going there. We're going to maximize our returns on this one. Get this flask 24. Okay. Cool. The, in a vacuum, it seems that Eclipse Val isn't so bad. But when you get Eclipse Val on like an Iron Man run, then it gets a little serious because I'm not even sure if I'm spending the money to get the stun grenades on that run, yeah. It might just be the play instead of buying a... F I mean, I, I only ever bought a flashlight on... Okay, well. Please don't. I'm not trying to lose this run by getting jumped by baboon hawks, bruh. I'll just mind my own business. Um, as I was saying... 
I only ever buy flashlights on the Iron Man runs just so we can see better in the videos. But if if I'm tryharding the Iron Man run, not for Okay, well let me collect the flask at least. Whatever, it's not gonna it's, I'm gonna I'm gonna carry it with me if it just doesn't want to collect officially. There's no way I collected it yet, you know. If you're not sure if an item will collect, just bring it in with you. There's all three baboon hawks, by the way. 138. That's pretty good. <laughs> okay, there we go. Finally collected the flask. 240 of 343. Not bad. Well, most of that was from the beehive, actually. Like I was saying, if I'm doing like a tryhard Iron Man run, it might be a good idea to just buy two stun grenades and then call it a day. Those stun grenades might save you on an eclipsed vow or like an eclipsed march or something. Because it's like you can't skip... You can't skip those planets. I mean, you can, but then you have to perform extremely, extremely well on the other planets. And it's better to just perform somewhat decent and get a net positive on the Val and March than to not get anything. Sun grenades might save you later, too, on another Eclipse Moon, and... Yeah. Sun grenade a better investment than flashlights on the challenge runs. Because flashlight is a convenient investment. more days okay let's go I guess oh well if I'm if I'm gonna look for beehives I should jump I should go the other way might be a little late now I can at least go across this way and listen for anything on this side I heard- I read a lot of comments about the bridge thing being patched out, so thank you everyone for letting me know about that. I mean, even when it was in the game, it wasn't something that I took it crazy advantage of, so... That's good to know that I shouldn't rely on it now. Okay, let's go. Okay, this is starting to look like one where I sh maybe should have gone to the fire exit. Considered it. Okay. I don't like all of these hallways, if I'm being honest. Oh. I value Big Bolt. Hmm. We'll leave this here. I'm trying to keep things simple with my pathing. Don't need to make it too difficult, remember. Straight paths. Anything in here? Never nothing in here. Or never anything in here. Or in- oh, well, okay. Actually something in there is kind of crazy. More bottles, unfortunately. Worth the same amount. Okay, the slime. Oh. So many two-handed items. Not the biggest fan of that, but... Gotta do what we gotta do. Didn't mean to fall there. I kinda wanna check that room with the slime. I'm not gonna open it, because I think slimes are stuck behind... ...doors. I'm glad I looked up here. Yeah. Now it's worth our now it's worth our time. Hey. Okay. Another set of bottles that I didn't it last time. <laughs> See, this is where the Val running experience is going to help quite a bit. And also where the loot trail is going to help also. These are going to be the last items that I collect from here. Kind of 
of looking around, making sure I don't get my neck snapped here. Yep, and this is why I keep a very simple path. Okay. Wait. It's this way. I don't know if, how much more I grab actually. Oh god! Jeez. What the heck? Okay, so snare flea and a hydra deer. I think I'm okay. Oh, that chemical jug's not even worth all that much. Let's go forward, see if there's any... Oh. I mean, I do have keys back at the ship. I think... I think we cut our losses. That's kind of like a heavy 47 to bring back. I don't want to risk taking all that much health either because... Baboon Hawk might just decide to smite me for no reason. I'm gonna go check down this hallway a little bit at least. Okay, well, it is what it is. This is quite a few inventories to do, so. Let's get it. Yeah, three trips, four o'clock. Might even put, put stuff like right there. Just so I don't have to go as far next time. Hug the wall in case there's any giants that spawn in the middle of the valley. Hmm. We'll leave that there just in case. This is worth more. This that egg is only worth like. 26, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I see. Like, they're just gonna steal my shit now. You piece of fucking ass. Okay. Unbelievable. Maybe I should've just left it then at the door. I can get. Hopefully, he doesn't take the red soda. Oh god. No, oh, that sucks. I didn't even have all that much time to react to that. Even on Eclipsed Val, I guess the sandworms are going to be the most dangerous enemy. But you know what? I get at least one day to try to get 400 crap out of this. So let's go see what I can do with that. I have to bring the ladder with me this time. I think the only real way I get out of this is if I. Get some lucky beehive spawns. Let's see if I get them. I'm gonna have to look for hives. I know there's, there's a baboon hawk already. Two baboon hawks already, actually. Okay. 
that a beehive? Uh oh, that's a tree. Okay, I only brought one stun grenade with me, but the plan was to run back with the beehive at some point. Oh, look, a beehive. Okay, hold on. How much are you worth? 51, that's unlucky. I think I have a better shot at finding some valuable stuff for real instead of like, hive cheesing, unfortunately. Z's. Gonna need some good stuff. No, I found quite a few of these rooms and they usually treat me pretty well, but I guess not in this run. Even if there is an item up in that one spawn, there's not a lot that can spawn up there that'll save this run. If there's anything in here. I mean, I'll take what I can get right now. Okay, about 60, about 310 more. I don't know where I saw him. Okay. So, you have to keep going farther back. If he stops, that's when you have, kind of have to chill a little bit. Then, him stopping means that he's ran out of room to run away from. Um, it's already dark as hell. Take this. Consider looking downstairs, actually. No way, he's down there. Jesus Christ. Okay. A little unlucky. Super unlucky. I did kind of just fuck myself a little bit. Not as far as like vision goes. Hello. Yeah. Oh lord. Okay. I think it's over. There's no way. Wait. Okay, let's see if I can trap him somewhere. I'm sure I have a dead end where I can trap him. Yeah, I'll trap him in here. Actually... We'll do it this way. Okay, okay coil heads successfully trapped. Jesus Christ, okay. Um, I'm gonna get Brackened now, for sure. Like, every day of the week. Oh, no. Where's the exit? First, I was so close. Okay, well. God. Let's take this stuff back. I am gonna try to play Fire Exit. This is the ideal inventory, actually. There we go. That way I have quick access to the thing grenade if need be. Now I can't take a single hit from a baboon hawk either. The two baboon hawks are down there. It's gonna be three baboon hawks and a forest keeper. I'm actually more worried about the baboon hawks being down there than the forest keeper. Looks like the bees are only worth 50 also. Wait. There's bees right there. That's 102. Might be worth I running. As long as I don't die. While doing so.
Damn it. Sometimes I'm not a fan of this game. <laughs> I'm lagging super hard too. Well, if he's up here, then that means I can go down to the fire exit. I have to get the fire exit and then get the bees, I think. I kind of saw how the baboon hawks need to kind of go away. I saw Larry use the extension ladder to go up right along that wall, so I, I think that's what I'm going to go for as well. Got a bracken, snare flea, hoarding bug, coil ahead, power level of 6. I think only a few more enemies can spawn. these see what we can get here if anything okay already a little unlucky get like a high value item yeah and we can start there oh wait but it's a two-handed item how the hell am i supposed to bring that up Dang it, Larry had a trick on how to do that too, but I didn't pay full attention. Now I'm going to pay severely for it. Hello. Never punished. Where's that locked door? Okay, wait, hold on. Now we're talking. We might have enough now. see you going to the right there don't see me can't see me oh balls you do see me actually No. Please don't. No, you son of a... Okay. <laughs> well, it is what it is. I I tried really hard. I actually... I was, I was there. I was there. I died to everything except a giant. <laughs> it's nuts. Well. Might as well make use of these stun grenades. I have, only have two left. Let's go see if I can do the new high running method. Well, first off, gotta be able to make this jump pretty consistently. Oh, hello. Well, what do you know? You're gonna let me showcase. Okay. Why are you. Why? What could po possibly possess you to be doing that right now? Why are there so many beehives, actually? Oh god, please. Hey, go back to your hive. Okay. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Nope, 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 nope. You for real give me the map with three beehives after I 
basically finish the run, huh? Kinda, kinda messed up. Kinda messed up. Also, I don't have enough stamina for this. Oh lord, I'm dead. <laughs> okay, well, valiant effort. If there's anything to learn from that, if you ever see bees just roaming around rampantly and you want to stop them from doing that, just go find where their beehive is and return them to their hive yourself manually. At least I saw where they came from, so I was able to return them to their home, but, you know, my positioning was not very good. Maybe I should have moved them all away from this ship and then collected them individually, but it is what it is. That's going to be our Eclipse-only Val run. Maybe I'll try it again, but it also doesn't seem like that much that much more difficult. I feel like that's basically as far as the showcase goes. And not much else could have happened other than me going farther. But if you do want to see me do it again, let me know in the comments below. And if you want to see any other specific map-only runs, let me know, and I'll do it. But that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next upload. Let's go check the stats before we go, and peace.